Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. In Ramadan, we must try to complete the entire Quran. The messages of the Quran, the surahs that are being read through the days, through the nights, the messages within them are so impactful, so powerful, so serious. You take a look at Surah Al Baqarah, it's named after the cow, but Allah Almighty says, those who recite this surah in their houses, Shaitan is unable to penetrate that home, which means Shaitan or the jinn kind, will, the negative forces will not enter that home in terms of jinn kind and shayateen. So it's important for us to recite. Just by reciting it, it wards off shayateen and the devils and the jinn kind. Imagine if you knew the meaning and you actually read it with the meaning in mind, how powerful it is. Imagine if you are to read one verse from that entire surah known as Ayatul Kursi and you read it three times in the morning, three times in the evening, that alone creates a barrier of protection around you from a lot of harm. Amazing, amazing. And the last few verses of the same surah, Surah Al Baqarah, when read, once in the morning, once in the evening, they also have a powerful impact. This is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, do not underestimate the power of the words of the Quran. This is why when people tell me, I can't read the Arabic, I don't know how to read the Arabic, I'm struggling to read the Arabic, is it better to read the Arabic or the English? Can I read in a language I know? Uh, can I just read it in English? Let me explain. Even if you don't know how to read Arabic, the power of reciting those words without knowing how to read Arabic, it could have been transliterated or it can be just because you heard something and repeated it without knowing how to read it. All of that is still extremely powerful. It has 10 rewards for every letter that you're going to read. And on top of that, it has a powerful impact on the entire environment around you and your home and your entire surroundings impacted by that. So do not replace it with the English translation alone or something of that. That does not mean it's not important to go through the translation, nor does it mean you should not do the translation and only do the Arabic because that's another problem. Here we're talking about the importance of that power that lies within the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of protection. It's something amazing. So even if you can't read Arabic, please make an effort to learn, to learn some of what you need to know. You have to make an effort, read it, recite it in Arabic without knowing how to read the Arabic language maybe or without understanding the Arabic language. All of that is, it's a point. We're going to get to that just now. But to get that impact, you're going to need this. You're going to need it. So make an effort. Don't be lazy. And don't come and say, oh, it's very difficult. If I were to tell you that there's something important where you're going to earn $500,000 by the end of the night. You'll spend all night learning that. Subhanallah. This is far more valuable than that. Now, the importance of reading the English language or a language you know, that is equally important in terms of understanding, in terms of connection, in terms of, uh, you know, the rights of the Quran and so on. Yes. So you would be wrong not to make an effort to understand the Quran, just like you would be wrong not to make an effort to recite the Quran. You would be wrong to, to read the Arabic without attempting to read or, or the meanings of what you're, you've recited, if you know what I mean. So both of these things are very, very, very important. I wouldn't put one above the other, but what I would say is the reward, the, 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 the impact upon your entire surroundings happens with one more than the other. And then the impact upon your entire life would happen with both together because you're going to need this and that. And in fact, to understand it, according to some scholars, is more important because the
entire reason why this Quran was revealed was because of Allah wanting you to was because of Allah wanting you to ponder over its verses. May Allah Almighty forgive us all. May Allah grant us strength. May we be from among those who ponder over the verses. Leave you with a verse. Allah Almighty says, Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyaddabbaru ayatihi wa liyatadhakkara ulul alba. A book that we have sent to you. It's a book of uh, Allah, the Quran. And this book that Allah has sent to us uh, is blessed. And Allah says, Anzalnahu ilayka, we have sent it to you, Mubarakun, uh, the blessed book. Liyaddabbaru ayati, in order that they may ponder deeply over its verses. وَلِيَتَذَكَّرَ أُولُوا albab, And for those uh, who have sound intellect to take heed, you ponder over them. That's the purpose of revelation, so that you may ponder deeply over the verses of the Quran. And another quick point, there's no contradiction in the Quran. I've seen a few video clips of some people who don't even know Arabic. Some people who haven't even read the Quran, who are trying to try to prove, oh, there's a contradiction here. Oh, this means this, this means that. Trust me, it's laughable. It really is laughable. You just have to know Arabic language thoroughly and you have to have studied uh, the disciplines of the Quran and you will immediately know what they're saying is just their whims and fancies. They're making themselves feel good by saying that there's a contradiction there. No contradictions, trust me. One of the brothers said something uh, and I was just thinking to myself, meaning he was not a Muslim. I'm calling him a brother in terms of humanity. And I was thinking to myself, oh brother, you discovered this after uh, 1400 years, right? And for 1400 years, people didn't think of this thing, right? Doesn't it show you that you're totally wrong, man? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from just the value of this beautiful, powerful book. When you read it, you are protected. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum.